the stop dog. Doing, yeah, we've got to stop doing dog <laughs> stories on the show. I saw yesterday, oh, Nancy. It got me. It I got know. me. But oh, he's a cutie. I yeah, would take that one in adorable. a heartbeat. What kind of what kind of thief is that? I, I know. Say, too right? cute to forgive punish, him. Really. So the holidays are here and ugly is in again. Yeah, it's time for the buzz. Today is National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day and it's pretty easy to celebrate. Just find or make the most hideous and festive sweater you can. Sweater doesn't fit, even better. It's not just an iconic fad. Ugly sweaters have become big business. And one thing's for sure, those sweaters make ugly look good. Well, let's a matter of opinion. Yeah, very true. I've been nice. I've been naughty. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that one. I like the homemade ones, the little kits you can get because mm -hmm. that shows a little creativity and they usually are the most ugly. Definitely. Sure. I have one at home that I like though that has a big wine bottle holder on the front oh. so you can stick an entire bottle See, right there and have it handy. And useful. Yes, and resourceful. I like yes. that one. Yeah. Okay, what began <laughs> as a cute decoration in front of a Florida couple's house has become a calling this holiday season. On 11th Avenue in Mount Dora sits a huge red mailbox that says letters to Santa. Oh. Linda and Jeanette Bachland are realtors by day and secret Santas by night. Right before Christmas last Year, they bought it on sale for $50 and then they put it out in front of their house as a decoration. And to their amazement, they found letters inside. For every letter with a return address, Linda and Jeanette respond. Some are from kids, others are from adults. The couple hopes to respond to them all <laughs> before Christmas. I love that idea. That's so sweet. That's a pretty neat mission, you know, keeping the magic going. Yeah, and how often generation. do we have an excuse to write handwritten letters these days? I, know, I don't know about you, a, but I never do. I know and I feel terrible and I even put off responding to maybe sending a thank you note when yeah. I should or something because I'm like oh I have to sit down and yeah, write it and right. that's terrible. No it's terrible. I know I saw a couple stories recently about like whether or not kids are going to learn cursive yeah. in school and stuff and it's crazy how handwriting is just like going out the window I now. know it really is. Everything is and computer. It's kind of a shame. I, re I remember those days of sitting in Miss uh, Miss Beatty's class and Miss Wise's class and trying <laughs> to make those letters just like my grown-up sisters yeah. did. Yeah, you know? oh yeah, it used to be so cool when I, I was know. a kid, the same thing. I was like, now I know cursive. I like, know, you know, I'm special. Now these kids are like, whatever, give me a laptop, <laughs> mom. Like, that's what I want for Christmas. I don't want to learn cursive. When I couldn't read cursive, my sister used to use me to pass notes to her boyfriend because she knew I couldn't read them. <laughs> I was used and abused, no. Used the royal abused. family, Kate Middleton and Prince William and their three children have released their annual Christmas card. It's even cuter than last year's too. Prince Aww. George, age six, Princess Charlotte, four, and Prince Louis, age one, are the stars. The holiday portrait features the family of five and one of their most candid and casual photos yet as they pose on a vintage motorcycle sidecar. The proud parents are all smiles as William sits on the vintage bike holding little Louie in front of him. George and Charlotte pose next to them in the sidecar and mom Kate is hanging onto the handlebars. It's, mm -hmm. a it's a tradition for the royal family to share their holiday card with the public. I love that. They look normal, don't they? They do. And can they take a bad <laughs> picture though, please? No, those like you said, kids. last year's was adorable. <sighs> and the kids, yeah, they're photogenic for they sure. They are amazing. <laughs> Fun. That does it for the buzz. And we have more traffic and weather coming your way next on LEX 18 News at 4.